<laughs> that never gets old. That absolutely never gets old. Look at those crappie brakes just working, bringing me outside my dock. Folks, today we're going to be talking about a lot of new technology, but crappie brakes is awesome. But today, in particular, on this episode, we're going to be talking about bait pop. I've got some freshly new, just sent to me bait pops right there. And I am excited, excited to share what we see today. Now, everybody knows I talk about it a lot. The crappie formulation is also here. I use it quite a bit. I probably use this the most on my boat because I use a lot of hair jigs. And I really love the idea of putting this on your hair jigs. But bait pop, a lot of people talk about it. People that want to enhance their sonar feedback. Well, this is the episode for you because we're going to be looking at it with Active Captain. And I look forward to sharing that with you. You be the judge. We're just going to have a great time talking about it and catching fish in this episode. All right, guys, let me show you the, what I've got here. I've got a double rig setup. I'm using the monkey milk on the one and 30 second ounce orange heads from three pound fishing right here. So they're, they're right within about a foot of each other right here, okay? So we are gonna be comparing apples to apples. We've got absolutely still water on a beautiful bluebird day. And uh, we're gonna put bait pop on the top one. And we're gonna leave this guy just as it is. And we're gonna compare what it looks like, okay? We're just gonna see what it shows up. We're gonna have this around my neck, so you're gonna see it live on the screen. But at the same time, we're gonna have active captain going so that you can evaluate exactly what what we're seeing here and then we're going to go fish and we're going to try it out now the great thing about bait pop is it does have the original scent so whether or not you're using it as an intensifier or not you're going to get probably what i consider the most important thing about the original fish formula their scent it has a long history i believe it was back in the 80s and after you see this episode we're actually going to have an interview with the owner and inventor of all these great products, Dave Beth Shears. So this is how I apply it, folks. It's, there's nothing, that's, that's exactly what I would put on there. You can put a lot more on there if you'd like, but, and some people do, but that's, and it's really great because it does stay on the bait. I think it actually adds a flare to the monkey milk. It will stay on there. I can put it in the water right now, bring it right back out, no worries. It's still gonna be on there. There it is right there, guys. All right, so we're gonna get Active Captain going here. It says 5.2, 2.1, that does not make any sense whatsoever. All right, so here's our first drop, guys. We are barely moving, and the top one has the bait pop, and I do see a difference on my screen here. It's not a, it's not a massive difference, but I can definitely see a difference. Look at the, the, the feedback right there. And that's just me, waving this thing around and you can see the top bait has more pop to it than the bottom bait and again this is everybody can have their own opinion on it but it definitely adds to the feedback the intensifier of the bait now if you want i want this bottle here a lot of people have been talking about adding it to your line um i don't know if this is something most people would do this is just me talking um but it just shows that the, in my opinion, it shows that the product does provide a pretty significant sonar feedback. So without further ado, this is bait pop right below on the line. And I mean, you can obviously really see it grouped up underneath the bait on that second one right there. I think that's pretty clear. That is bait pop in a nutshell. And again, I think the huge value comes that not only do you get to see your bait a lot better, but you also get to see the feedback. Um, I'm sorry, the crappie formulation is actually part of the bait pop formulation. So you're actually getting two things for one. And that's, I think, a huge benefit. So we're actually gonna bring this rig right here with us. We're gonna use, continue to use bait pop. We're gonna use bait pop on both of those actually. And we're gonna go fish out there in the lake and see if we can't catch some slabs with some bait pop and some original fish formula. Now your settings on your live sonar will affect the effect of bait pop. So I do run my unit pretty much on default settings. 
you saw what my gang was set out there and uh, as you're gonna see here right now we put some fish in the boat for sure and have a great time so stay to the end there's our first fish now I changed baits because I dropped on a couple and I knew that the baits were moving a little bit too fast so I actually have changed to a um, a electric chicken today this is a great starter fish man look at this that's a gr <laughs> that's a great starter fish uh, so we're gonna put that in the box real quick because we're gonna do another video for killer doc today um, putting that in the the old live well all right so here's our bait right here all right we're gonna put our bait pop on and again, even if you don't want it for the intensifier, which I think is its biggest, that's what you want it for, um, you've got that crappie formulation, and I think that's just the perfect amount right there. Right there, perfect. Bam, check that out. All right, so we got that guy loaded up. And we are going to now you can get bait pop at baitpop.com or try all of their new formulations they've got a bunch walleye catfish they have really added a bunch of different pace and scents to their lineup which is pretty cool and so we're letting this guy drop in there there it is coming in i'm a little off on that throw now winter time for me is a slower presentation um at least it has been so having those two jigs on there really sped it up look at that first cast with the bait pop on it and that is a good fish my gosh look at that he inhaled it no hesitation and i still have bait pop on the on the plastic i mean really it doesn't get any better than that so and again we're going to keep this guy we're only going to keep a few but and at least from my eye i can definitely see my jig a little bit better i like it um i think that you know somebody that is struggling to see their jig this is the perfect product for you you get two and one in my opinion it's a very exciting product they're doing a lot of it with it in the bass world as well if you haven't been a part of three pound fishing we we have a lot of schools so you can see this school moving in right here that's just a school of crappie and during the winter time what makes the guide trip so unique and fun is that we are just chasing these schools which i'm doing right now following this school i'm dropping in right in front of it there he is that guy came a long way <laughs> for the fish good solid fish too folks look at that good night so i you know winter winter chicken dinner that's another slab going in the boat good night three pound fishing team three pound fishing will be there me and mike both will be at the shields springfield show uh, tackle show at March and we'll be there on that Saturday doing presentations talking products all that good stuff so please stop by the Springfield Shields fishing department because I know we're going to be up there doing a lot of cool stuff me and Mike I mean really talking products and having a, a great time there at Shields and Springfield now like I said before I've eaten just so much of this stuff you can see it's crazy but um the sparkle scales here in the crappie formulation I really like this for hair jigs um you know what let's put a hair jig on why not let's do that we can mix it up so since we're going to do this let's just go ahead and do a, a loop knot because i still get asked about the loop knot which i always think is is funny because i've done so many loop knots if you need if you want to you can follow me on TikTok, instagram all that stuff because i'm gonna tell you right now i put a lot of uh loop knot information out there so through the eyelet right here there are several ways to do it in a loop knot and i never say that mine's the best it's not um it's probably the least accurate but i'm so used to it that i'm not changing i get it right in the center 
Of course, I don't have enough. Bear with me here. All right. We're out here on a Saturday. Uh, my guy trip postponed because they got sick with COVID. I appreciated the call and tell, telling me that. And so he's postponed to another day. But anyway, there you go. It's through the islet. We grab it in the center here, okay? Watch this very closely. I twist it around probably about four or five times. I grab the jig again and I put it through the hole that I held, that I created, okay? So it comes through and I put the sniping braid directly to the jig. There is no leader. You do not need a leader in my opinion. There it is. Now, the clarity of my water is roughly around four feet so you can be the judge if you have super clear water then maybe maybe you do need a leader i don't know but i haven't met in been any places where i've needed a leader uh, muddier the water the less need for a leader obviously um, now i use the sniping braid optimal it's really small i love it it's super sensitive but it's not for everybody because it's only four strand and it's only 0 0.10 and uh, you just need to know what you're fishing with on my home lake It's absolutely perfect because it's a caster's dream is what I call it But if you're going to those other lakes that 12 pound meteor It's a 0.15. It's an 8 strand and it is robust. It is a Grenada killer in my opinion. It's awesome It's what I use on the big big lakes like Grenada But don't get me wrong the 10 pound optimized is the other one that I really like it's an eight It's an 8 strand as well, and I will use it on Grenada as well but the 12 pound seems to be the favorite on a lake like that. All right, so we're gonna fish with this hair jig. Big difference with a hair jig, in my opinion, it's just water displacement. This jig is going to absorb it, right? So it's not gonna give out the, the, the vibration of the, of the water repelling off of it. It's actually gonna absorb it. So it's a little bit different. It's also gonna be a slower presentation. And what I do, usually the start with a hair jig is I will douse it with the crappie formulation there right there okay and all I do is douse it off the side of the boat it's no big deal this is the end result now I can see the sparkles in the white hair jig now and I think that's a huge advantage too fish has got three senses just like we have and that sight and that sparkle coming out of that, that hair jig, in my opinion, adds a lot. Um, if anything, it adds something. And I think that something is an advantage that I think you want to take in the boat with you, personally. Let's fish with it. All right, here we go. Now, I have, I have not fished with the, with the zombie in a while on my home lake, so this is going to be interesting. I don't have any in my boat right now. So look at this, this zombie got this fish to come right after it look at this boom first cast no hesitation that is literally the first cast with that zombie and that crappie formulation and that fish came a long way for that fish there's the zombie that is a picture if i haven't seen one good lord that's a good fish on the zombie with the sparkle scales and i can still see the sparkle sails in the actual jig itself I would say we're having a good day. We're having a good day. We're having a good day. If you're interested in the guide service, um, we've been busting it right now. Just absolutely crushing it, crushing it, crushing it. And um, winter fishing is incredible. And so I do have availability in March. So please reach out to me for March dates. I think there might be one late date in February. But again, the best thing you can do is just reach out to me at 3poundfishing, 3poundfishing at gmail.com, or you can even call me at 618-694-5162. It's fantastic, look at that. Literally the fish just lit, drop in its mouth. Crappie formulation, look at that. Good night, slabalicious, baby, slabalicious. Anyway guys, I'm gonna let you go on this episode. I don't know how long the episode's gonna be, but I can tell you that these are great products you guys need to check out. The original fish formula, I can't say enough good things about them. And I've shown you today that, you know, bait pops definitely popping off the screen. Uh, you be the judge, but at the end of the day, I think the original fish formula and their scent and everything else is just absolutely awesome. 
Have a good one, guys. Appreciate you.